a challenge to man's ingenuity, skill, and courage. spans the wide river, the George Washington Bridge, and beneath the river lies the Holland Tunnel, the busiest highway in the world. To date, more than 100 million cars have driven through it. Still a mounting tide of traffic seeks a river crossing. Down Manhattan's west side, over New Jersey Skyway, and buses demands a fast route from shore to shore. Port Authority engineers study traffic trends. The sharp upward curve means Serve the congested Midtown area, the Lincoln Tunnel is located between the George Washington Bridge and the Holland Tunnel. <music> to keep the river clear for shipping, it was decided to build a tunnel rather than a bridge, nearly a hundred. outer wall is a huge cast iron pipe, 31 feet in diameter, and through it a roadway is constructed. Derricks and steam shovels get underway. Surveyors chart the course. Drills are poured. They must be sharp at all times, for it is necessary to drill through solid rock. Powerful air compressors are installed. To counteract the weight of water and silt, all tunneling is done in compressed air chambers. Men, most important of all, are now selected to work under compressed air. A hard and dangerous job. Every precaution is taken to safeguard them. Under pressure work is a strain on heart and... This sensation is similar to that of deep sea diving. He is holding his nose and blowing through his mouth to open up the passage leading from throat to ear, thereby equalizing and received the compressed air worker's badge, which he will wear at all times.
A caisson or huge steel box has been fabricated in a shipyard, launched, towed up the river, and anchored ready for sinking. Muck is dug out until the caisson settles on bedrock to which it is sealed. The caisson is the target toward which two tunnel crews will aim. As it is sunk, concrete is poured into the walls of The two rings at the top will be sunk to the bottom of the river and will be part of the tunnel. Meanwhile, with drill and dynamite, deep land shafts are sunk on both shores. At the bottom of each land shaft, a huge machine weighing about 400 tons is assembled. This is the shield. Sandhog's work chamber during the long drive under the Hudson. As an apple core bores through an apple. The shield advances through soft mud. This mud or silt is either pushed aside or swallowed up by the shield through a mouth or opening in its face. 28 huge jacks push the massive shield forward. Join a crew of sand hogs as they start on the day's job under the river. They must stay in the airlock a few minutes until the air pressure is built up to equal that. It is different when they return from work. Then they must be gradually decompressed, which takes a much longer time. This whole process is for the protection of compressed air workers. Inside the tunnel, under compressed air, while overhead, all sorts of river craft and great ocean liners sail by. Ready for a shove. Jacks push against the iron tunnel ring and move the shield forward five, ten, 15, 20, 25, 30 inches, making room for a new ring of tunnel segments. Mud oozes into the shield. Sand hogs cut it into pieces. Tunnel segments are stored at the site of construction. Before being sent down into the tunnel, they are inspected and cleaned, then loaded on cars and lowered by elevator.
segment weighs more than a ton and a half. The director arm grabs the heavy segment and puts it in its proper place. The arm can be rotated and telescoped in and out. Its end grasps the heavy segment like a huge mechanical hand. tunnel ring is made up of 14 segments and a key piece. Eighteen shoves and 18 rings have been completed in a day's work driving through silk. It takes about an hour and a half to construct one ring. key segment makes the ring complete. These husky sandals first with a hand ratchet wrench. The hydraulic bolt tightener finishes the job. In the New Jersey Shield, we are heading straight toward the caisson at the rate of 40 feet a day. Because it is boring through rock, the New York Shield is heading toward us at a slower rate. The tunnel ring is right up against the jack at the back of the shield. Here goes the next shove. To complete one tube of the tunnel, 2,370 rings are erected. More than a quarter of a million bolts hold the segments and rings together. The surveyor's job is to keep the shield on the right course as it is pushed through the riverbed. Sand hogs work day and night, building the iron tunnel shell. At this point, one Holding through, the two shields meet within a quarter of an inch. These men have something to celebrate. They are the first to travel from New Jersey to New York through the Lincoln Tunnel. The river silt left in the tunnel during construction is cleaned out. Joints are tightly caulked to make the tunnel watertight. A lining of concrete is poured into the iron tunnel. A roadway is built with an air passage above and below it. Above the roadway, glass tiles are installed for the ceiling. They are placed upside down on specially prepared paper. There are nearly a million of these tiles in the tunnel ceiling.
When the tiles are set, the paper is removed. In the tunnel interior, the wall tile is ceramic. Ventilation is an important safety feature of the Lincoln Tunnel. In these buildings are housed fans and other equipment to keep carbon monoxide gas from automobile exhaust. Huge blower fans supply fresh air while exhaust fans suck vitiated air out of the tunnel. An air duct carries fresh air down from the towers to the tunnel. Curb admit air to the roadway. The air of the tunnel can be completely renewed every minute and a half. Fresh air is blown in under the roadway and rises gently. It is mixed with the gases exhausted by automobiles. This air and gas mixture is sucked through openings in the ceiling into an upper duct and drawn out. In Weehawken, New Jersey, a great canyon was gouged out of Rocky Cliff to provide approach connections, linking the tunnel with all the major highways of the area. While in Manhattan, a plaza and a new North and South Avenue between 9th and 10th Avenue provide connections with six crosstown streets from 34th to 42nd Street and give quick access to and from the tunnel in all directions. and seven months it took to complete one tube of the Lincoln Tunnel. It opened to traffic December 22nd, 1937. Through the Lincoln Tunnel, traffic moves with speed and safety a hundred feet below the river. A new link joins the states of New Jersey and New York. A great engineering piece, a great highway, a new conquest of the Hudson.